Hello everyone and welcome back to Prep Talk. Today we are at episode 3 of Understanding APs and I am Medha with Mr. Mukul Dhingra who is a math and chemistry mentor at Tutela. Welcome Mukul. Hi Medha, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. So sir, I have a few questions for you. So starting with AP Calculus, what are the benefits of AP Calculus? Uh, see, AP Calculus, first of all, there are, you can say, two wings of AP Calculus, Calculus AB and Calculus BC. So, Calculus AB, if I talk about, Calculus AB is generally taken by students who are going to major in economics, business, medicine and non-STEM related fields. And Calculus BC is for those who are specifically looking for comp science, engineering, and STEM, more of more of STEM related courses. So Calc BC is help, helpful to those and Calc AB is help, helpful to the non-STEM courses. Okay, I guess you did answer my second question about the differentiation between both. So, uh, For me... the differentiation, I would also mm-hmm. like to say Calculus AB. Mm-hmm. If you are taking Calculus AB, it will help you gain credits for the first semester of the calculus that you will be doing in college. Okay. And for Calculus BC, you can get credits for the first two semesters of calculus in your college area. So, Calc AB is equivalent to not doing calculus one course at college and straight away getting the credit. So, you can use that much time to devote into another subject. Mm -hmm. And calculus BC, you can do it for a whole year, semester one and semester two, calc one and calc two courses. Both are done if you do calc BC. Now, there might be a question, how much you need to score? So, calculus AB and BC both are scored scaled out of a score mm-hmm. of 5. Last year, now some people might be thinking, do we have mm-hmm. to get a 5 only? Mm-hmm. So, I'm just talking about last year, this May attempt, May 2021 attempt, there was one kid, Aryan Chaudhary, who got admitted to UC Berkeley. He got a 4. Now, why he mm-hmm. got a 4? He got COVID during the exam days and he could not in the last few classes and he just went to the exam. He got a 4 in Cal BC and he still got credits for, uh, at UC Berkeley for the whole one year. So, Amazing. even a 4 on Calc BC might help you achieve both the credits for the college year, first and second semester. Amazing. So, sir, tell, tell us something about the extensive syllabus. Let's say if a student is already afraid or already hesitant with calculus, maybe they are not very comfortable in maths or not very pro at math, how do you suggest they should deal with it? See, calculus is not like calculator. They are not going to give mm-hmm. you 5,000 times 1056. They are not going to ask you that. Mm-hmm. So don't worry about the calculation part. There can be some students who are afraid of math, but that doesn't mean they can't do calculus. Mm-hmm. Coming on to the syllabus, the difference between calculus A, B and B, C is just like counting numbers from 1 to 65 and counting numbers from 1 to 100. So okay. if you count from 1 to 100, you mm-hmm. can cover the calculus B, C syllabus. You can count from 1 to 65. That's calc A, B syllabus for you. Okay, okay. Uh, what apart from calculus A, B or B, C should a student resort to if they are still, you know, a little hesitant to go for these? See, the first thing that a student must be comfortable with is pre-calculus. Sure. Basics of functions, modulus functions, logarithmic functions, exponential functions, trigonometric functions. All of that will be used somewhere here or the other. So, you need to be pro at pre-calculus. If not pro, at least you must understand how they can be used. How to solve some limit problems or derivative problems of exponential logarithmic functions. So, there is a requirement of small understanding for pre-calculus before you start either calculus AB or BC. Okay. So, pre-calculus kind of builds the base for AP calculus. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. So, coming on to the next question. Even, even if someone is not mm-hmm. done with pre-calc, that's not mm-hmm. a problem. Okay. If there are some people who are, some students who are done with their SAT and the ACT, that mm-hmm. also covers some part Pretty of pre-calc. Okay. Was, yeah. mm-hmm. 80-90% is already covered there. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That won't be a problem. Okay. So, I don't know if this question works well for you or not, but are there any difficult topics? See, difficult topics are those that you don't get. 
Easy topics True. are those that you get. So True. if you devote time, ask your teacher or if you're not getting some questions, ask your teacher or if you think there is something that needs more concept knowledge, your teacher will help you in that. That's not a problem. There are some things in calculus which mm-hmm. might only be understood with the application of graphs. So you would need a graphing calculator first thing. Casio CG50 or TI Inspire non cas These are the calculators that you would need to have to grasp some grasp some concepts without them you won't be able to get those concepts at all some of the examples of those concepts are polar curves which is a part of calculus bc i can also say about slope fields that comes in differential equations both in calculus a b and bc under slope fields you might be confused what we have to do it's a very Mm -hmm. simple topic like you do in a sixth grade math class Mm -hmm. you just have to find the slopes that's and finding slopes at multiple points with the points given, with the x and y values given, you can find the slope fields. Now, I am saying this, slope fields is a difficult topic because that's not very used to with the calculus that you have been doing so far. Mm-hmm. So, if you finish all of application of integration, all of application of derivatives, you might be thinking, why is slope fields here? What do we have to do with this? So, that sometimes confuses students, but honestly, if mm-hmm. you are attending the classes properly, if you are going through the books, going through the content, going through the questions your teacher is giving you, I can bet there can't be any conceptual lag from the teacher's end and there can't be any conceptual problem for your end. I can bet that. Amazing. So, do you have any tips in your mind for students to, you know, help them relax? See, the best thing is talk to your teacher, talk to your mentors. Mm -hmm. They can relax you the best possible way. Don't just think, I know everything, so I don't have to bother them. No, they are there for you. So, ask them. Get the things cleared from them. Mm -hmm. Ask your parents. Mm -hmm. and it will go like this sometimes calculus will make sense sometimes it will not make sense so give yourself some time not be hesitant yes Mm -hmm. absolutely amazing so with this we are winding up today's session and see you in the next episode